Indiana. <laughs> they love my work in Evansville. The theme for Evansville, Indiana is American patriotism. Happy Fourth, everybody! The craziest part is always trying to like navigate in these towns. Hello, Indiana. In these full on high glam looks. This area is bananas. America. It was the 4th of July, families everywhere gawking at us like we're the only patriotic divas. Our country tears of the. You got Bob serving you Statue of Liberty, Eureka serving you red, white, and blue royalty, and then here I am looking like the Star Spangled Banner. Stars all over the place. Star, 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 star. If Bob would have poked me with that star one more time, I was gonna push her on the ground. In Evansville, Indiana, me, Shangela, and Eureka decided to be in red, white, and blue. So I'm going for this like Statue of Liberty inspired look, and I am all white. White is a really striking color to wear. That's why the bride always wears white. Show up in white, honey. You will still be seeing, I promise. And then this may shock you. My hands are very large. So all the gloves I wear on this show are custom gloves to fit my dainty little digits. I have my purse, which is the torch, really great. And I have these spires coming off of my back with stars all over them. And Shangela also had these spires coming off of her back with stars. So we were social distancing, let's just say that. The one thing you cannot forget on my entrance look was the star backpack. Baby, nobody could step within six feet of me. I loved it, because when the sun hit it, bing, you knew where I was. So let's take this look head to toe, okay? The hair is up, it's coiffed, got some little tendrils coming down the side. It was just, woo, hallelujah. This particular dress, you'll notice with the early 1800s kind of look to it, you know, because it's very corseted in the top, and then it has this beautiful cage that's under it. And I told Diego, baby, I want to serve leg in this one. Baby, that split was all the way up to my cootie coo. We have this seven inch platform pump that's also custom dyed. And the stockings, oh, on this one I live. Hundreds of individually placed Swarovski crystals on the fishnet stocking so that when you saw the leg, baby, you saw the leg. Evansville, Indiana, these patriotic looks. Honey, we were slaying the red, white, and blue fantasy. I looked like the only two liter of Pepsi. And this was a Marco Marco original. He had this amazing artist make this incredible acrylic crown. I caught up Wigs and Grace and I was like, listen, Wigsy, I'm gonna do something fun. Literally, she starts getting this tubing, hand wrapping hair to make these like tubes. I mean, it's just full on construction fantasy. Then I had these gloves that were built into a collar piece. I mean, if we're at the Miss Firecracker pageant, Eureka's winning evening gown category right now. I say everyone looks good in a wedding dress. Yes! Please. So this is my actual first time officiating a wedding in drag with two drag queens, which is really cool. Oh my, yes, we're going <laughs> to do this. So I'm looking for this like hippie, high priestess flower that moment. We've got something kind of 60s, a little bit Stevie Nicks. Right. Okay, 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 good. It is her dream come true. It got really emotional. I don't even know if it made it in the episode. I'm really emotional. I was like completely overwhelmed. I now pronounce you married. You may kiss. <laughs> One of the most memorable weddings in all of Evansville. <laughs> and it's just so rocking. When I saw my daughter in her look, she looked like a goddess. It almost made me start crying because I felt like a mother who just saw her daughter in the wedding dress for the first time, and you're like, you're beautiful. In traditional Muslim culture, some women wear a hijab, and so we wanted to give a nod to that respectfully. Drag is about the art of freedom of expression and breaking down gender stereotypes and uplifting art. He came out in this beautiful bodysuit, and then he put all the Swarovski red crystals that they could find. My daughter was so done. When the light hit her, she sparkled so beautifully. Oh, it was fabulous. Let's not forget me, OK? Because you know, if my daughter was looking that lovely, baby, I better also look lovely. So the hair on this one, I'm wearing a hood. And I want the hood to stay on during the whole number. But I'm still changing. I'm going to dance. So we want to do a swoop roll in the front in the classic Shangela Beyonce color. And the makeup, oh. Baby, we put glitter everywhere during this pageant. It was just, oh! Diego created this beautiful leotard for me that was Grace Jones inspired. It has the hood and it has the gloves connected to the bodysuit. Getting into this was an interesting thing because you got to put the bodysuit on, then you got to put the hand, you got to put the other hand, you got to swoop it, you got to swoop your head into the thing and zip it up the back. But baby, when I turned around, that was all worth it. Reverend Craig Duke, the 
only reverend that I would ever want to preach at me in a church. I think we need to find a way to support, equip, and empower. We do that not with our condemnation, but with our love. So we ended up doing this thing with the performances with Craig, where he started in this fabulous choir robe, preacher look, where he was preaching to his congregation about love, and then it tore away into Kesha's We Are Who We Are. It was so good. We fully had to do a lift with Craig, and he was so paranoid that we weren't gonna be able to lift him up. But mama, we picked her up like the only dainty flower. Also, Craig knew every single word to his song because he's dope and super fire, and he hangs Jesus on his necklace, us, us, us. You know, I think that there was such a campy element that Craig thought he had to bring to it. And what I did is I pushed Craig to realize that drag's not a joke. You know, gender expression, fluidity, and art, it's never a joke for people that need it. So Reverend Duke really wanted to do this drag number to show the world, like, I'm willing to walk in the shoes of the queer people that I love, that I enjoy. And Mama, he opened up, he performed and sass and fresh. He was a hard-working little diva.